What is data? Data are a collection of information in the form of numbers, text, or images. We say data are because data always includes more than one thing. There are two main types of data. One kind counts each item or event that falls into a certain category. Like if you counted how many kids in your class have each different eye color. Then there's the kind of data that's made up of measurements that fall along a spectrum. Like if you measured the height of every kid in your class. Where can I find data? Well, data are everywhere, if you're looking. You can collect your own by observing or measuring some aspect of the world around you. Or by doing an experiment. Then there's all the info that scientists have made available to the public. But if you're going to use someone else's data, make sure they're reliable. How do I know if I can trust a set of data? First, look at who collected it. Are they an expert on whatever the data are about? If you're looking at, say, info from NASA about planets, you can trust that everything's up to snuff. Data from non-experts, like a classmate, can be reliable too. But you should take a look at how they collected their information to make sure it checks out. Take these data on the fur color of local cats. They were all collected from homes on a single block. That may not be enough to say that orange is the most common fur color in the whole neighborhood. Investigating several different blocks could paint a different picture. Generally, the more data you have, the more confidently you can draw conclusions from it. How can I use data to answer questions? Data are an important type of evidence, info that might help answer a question. Representing data visually, like in a graph or chart, will help you figure out what's going on. The most useful way to visualize data really depends on what you want to learn from it. Say your question is, how have local temperatures changed over the past 150 years? You can plot the data on a line graph with dates on the x-axis and temperature on the y-axis. For this question, those are the two variables, the conditions that can change. Line graphs are particularly useful for understanding how things change over time. They show trends, like whether something increases, decreases, or stays about the same. And they can reveal patterns, like that temperature rises every spring and drops every fall. Now, if you wanted to show where those temperature changes are happening, you could use a map. Your two variables would be temperature and location instead of date. These two representations use the same data in different ways to answer different questions. Yeah, the real world doesn't always fit neatly on a straight line. So don't just throw out those disorderly data points. Look at the big picture. Ask yourself what the data as a whole tell you. Because every set of data captures a story.